What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Josh Drew That, and I'm back at it with another video. So for today's video, I don't know where I got this drawing from, well, the one I created, but just a little backstory. The picture you're looking at right now is the vocalist for Static X. If you haven't heard of that band, I recommend you go and listen to them if you're into that Met new metal, metal music. I'd say they're kind of like a trance-ish Rob Zombie type of band, but except instead of using horror clips in their music they use like trance and i don't know what else but anywho but as of 2021 last year you know having extra time on my hands with the pandemic going on covid messing everyone's life i just started to listen to old music i used to listen to as a little kid and i decided to see what these band members were up to and turns out he passed away wayne static passed away back in 2014 very unfortunate i believe he died from a drug overdose correct me if i'm wrong yeah it's very sad to catch up with you know music artists you used to listen to when you were younger and you hear these type of stories but as you see here he has like a very unique look he has like this big long hair and a big long beard if you listen to their music he has this very distinct voice that as soon as you listen to his voice you're gonna know it's Wayne Static and yeah it's just very unfortunate that he passed away but you know just a little side note don't take life for granted life is too short go out and do what you want do some good things in your life some positive stuff of course and check up on a friend that you haven't talked to in a minute you never know what they're going through because you never know that one talk that you have with them could probably save their life but yeah i decided to draw wayne static in this drawing as a skull with the long hair it's just something about me where once i visualize something in my mind and I'm really feeling it, I'll go ahead and do it. It's like a mood for me. It's weird how my mind works. Nobody told me, hey, put this skull and the hair together, but I just figured, hey, like I'm listening to their music. Why not pay my respects out to Static X and Wayne Static? And yeah, I decided to put it all together so you're gonna see how my mind works. And I'm just not gonna hold you back anymore. I'm gonna get straight into the video. Here's my drawing, Wayne Static. So what you wanna go ahead and do is draw a rough sketch. You already know how I draw. I don't focus too much on the sketch being too perfect, but if you have to, go ahead and do it. Uh, I start to draw the skull. I start to draw fine lines. I start to work on some shading. I don't focus too much on the bottom jaw because as you're seeing, I'm drawing the beard so you really won't see the fine lines at the bottom of the jaw. But pretty much my personal style for drawing hair, I draw every strand. I hate it, but in my opinion, I think it looks better. Now there are Procreate brushes that draw hair for you already, which is cool. But in my style of drawing, I just like to draw every hair. Those brushes do come in handy because they draw the hair for you. But if you ask me, you're just gonna depend on these brushes in order to get your drawings done. So with me, I just draw every strand of hair. And pretty much as you're seeing, I drew this freehand. I didn't trace over no pictures, no hair. I'm just using the reference pictures as a guide but yeah do what you want no judgment here 
I'm just saying, if you draw it yourself, you're going to become a better artist, especially when you're trying to get better. So for the beard, I pretty much used the HB pencil. For the whole drawing, I actually used the HB pencil. But what you want to do is turn up the brush size to the max in order to get more of this fuller look on the hair. But you got to watch out for the sideburn area. On the picture, it looked like he had finer, thin hair. So I would drop down the brush size. You just want to go ahead and play around with it. Just keep on drawing as you go. Play with it. See what you don't like, see what you do like. Turn up the brush size when you're at the top of the skull, along the beard, and then turn the brush size down around the sideburn area. So as for this drawing, I'm not gonna lie, I struggled drawing the skull because it was so much shading and so many details in the skull. So throughout this drawing, you're gonna see me go back and forth, drawing the beard, drawing the skull, focusing on the the eye sockets, then I would go to the teeth. It was just like a big mess. Sorry if I'm not really drawing in a certain style where everything is drawn from point A to point B. It's just the way my mind works. But as you saw, I drew the hair. Now I'm hopping on to the nose and yeah, like how I said, I would repeat the process with the Apple Pencil, just shading and shading and shading and over again. As for the eraser, I use, typically my style, I like to use more of a soft brush and a medium brush, or even a medium hard brush or a hard brush, because if you have Procreate and you change up your erasers, you know that the you depending on the brush you use it's going to erase according to that style of the brush so me i typically use more like an airbrushing type of brush and that's what i use to erase for example things i didn't like on the skull or the teeth on around the jaw and things like that so here's a quick little breakdown for those of you saying, Josh, I'm drawing it the way you're drawing it, but it's not coming out like yours. What you want to do is grab your HB pencil. I have my settings about to a, let's see. Let's bring it to like about a five. I believe this is a 50%, about a 50%. And in order to make the fine lines, I have a heavy hand, so I got to go light. So I just keep on drawing until I get the line that I want to get. So as you're seeing there, that's how I drew my skull. Now as for the shading, what I did, you want to get your Apple Pencil this way. And you just want to keep on drawing along there and then voila, you start to get that type of effect on your drawing. Now this was a repeated process, so it's gonna get boring along the way, but if you manage to pull through, it'll look just like how I drew it. So there's a quick little tip. So as you saw in that clip, that's pretty much everything that I did in order to accomplish this drawing of Wayne Static. It took me forever. How long did this drawing take me to draw? Honestly, I can't recall. I cannot recall. Something that helped was that I was streaming on Twitch, so I would talk to a person here and there. Another thing that helped was listening to music. When I listen to music, I get into my drawings, but hey, like if I use those techniques, you could do. You just gotta practice at it. The more you draw, the more, the more techniques you'll figure out. I don't know everything, so if you know something, maybe something that could help me out, something that could help someone else out, be sure to comment on the comment section, or you can go ahead and tag me on Instagram, at Josh Drew That, but yeah, just when I was drawing the school, I would just sit there and just keep on repeating the process over and over and over and over again but hey that's me maybe some people can do it 
I believe everyone can, as long as you're committed to accomplish this drawing. I honestly wasn't the best at Procreate. I have a couple of pictures in my Procreate app that I honestly don't want to upload to my Instagram just because looking back, they're not all that. But hey, the tools are out there. It's just up to you to figure out whether you want to find that information or not. I found everything on YouTube and so can you. So at this point, I'm about 80% done as you're seeing on the screen. I'm missing the top of the top of the hair, the bottom of the beard, but there's a detail that I missed. I always like to look at reference pictures and in the reference pictures that I found on Google, I believe he's rocking like this long beard that goes to his chest and then past his chest. I don't know, he has like some braid on his beard and that's something that I wanted to add to this illustration, but that would have meant that I need to merge all my layers and then resize it. And I didn't want to do that just because I drew this illustration in a squarish size uh, canvas because I wanted to take this image and then eventually upload it to my Instagram or who knows, maybe by the time it's out, this illustration is already gonna be on my Instagram. But yeah, by doing that, 
then you wouldn't be able to see all the details that I put in, like maybe the, the details inside the eye socket, maybe the hair would look different once I resized it. But yeah, it just sucks that I couldn't add the long beard with the braid. It's something that I really wanted to add just because it looked so cool. the drawing I'm working on the forehead when I was looking at my reference picture of the skull and I looked at the skull that I drew it just wasn't looking the same it looked like there was more details on my reference picture and I honestly didn't know how to make it stand out more so I just figured I'd shade some more all along around the hairline and the brow area but that's pretty much what I'm doing for the drawing here just making more details in this illustration stand out more on the beard as you see it's not really looking so nice pretty much I just kept on again drawing the strands trying to make it look more full just another tip on this process just be patient if you're gonna take my approach where you're gonna draw every strand it's gonna take time I'm not gonna lie it's gonna take some time some patience I have a beard myself, so I was thinking all along to myself, well, if I wake up to the same face every morning, how does my beard look to get these details? So I would just imagine what I would see in the mirror in order to make it look more realistic. Alright, so as you're seeing, I'm working on the beard. Also, you're gonna see me work on the hair. Some of the top of the pieces of the hair are not finished. So you're just gonna see me work on that and a few minor details like lighting on the hair, but that's pretty much it for the video. I'm gonna go ahead and stay quiet and let you enjoy the rest of this process.
voila here you have it ladies and gentlemen my interpretation of Wayne static I definitely like how the beard and the hair came out and the skull came out pretty nice if you ask me if you have made it this far in the video I thank you I highly appreciate it I really do hit that like comment subscribe share the video if you're not following me on instagram please do at josh drew that if you have any artwork you want me to check out tag me in it i want to see it but that's pretty much it for the video ladies and gentlemen take care and i'll see you on the next one